Hello YouTube, this is Brandon Reed coming at you from the middle of nowhere. Um, just a heads up, I am currently filming this on the other O-Gauge Railway layout at my dad's house. Yes, there is two O-Gauge Railway layouts. Um, the one at my mom's is a little well kept for, but the one over here it's kind of in shambles right now. But that's mostly because of the seldom use and... Uh, Maybe even the future disassembly of this layout. I'm not sure whether we're going to disassemble it or not, but chances are likely. But that's not none of your concern right now. But anyway, today's episode of the O-Gage Collection features my Nickel Plate Road 284 Berkshire number 779. Now, some interesting history... Nickel Plate Road 779 is a, is a real Nickel Plate Berkshire. Um, 779 was the last engine built for the Nickel Plate Road and one of the last engines to ever be built by Lima. And um, the engine, considering when it was built in 1944, only really had a short time in service, uh, seeing as how it pretty much served from... 1944 to, to like early 1958 because that's when the nickel plate finally switched over to diesel. Um, nickel plate road 779 does survive. She do, is on display in a park in Lima, Ohio. Um, anyways, the model of this engine, this was Lionel's, um, uh, new uh, J.R. Berkshire body. Um, before this, they were using the post-war Lionel Berkshire body casting, um, but uh, around sometime in the uh, 80s, uh, late 80s, maybe early 90s, they or maybe even late 90s, I'm not even sure about that, they switched to this new design, which clearly resembles the Lima Berkshire. Um... I bought this model at a train shop in Auburn Hills, Michigan, and it was originally intended to be a birthday present until I took it out of the box and started running it immediately when we got home. Um, that's when it kind of didn't become a birthday present, but yeah. That's a little backstory on my experiences with this locomotive, but yes, this uh, locomotive features... Uh, Silver handrails, little clamps to hold them in, too. One over here is broken, but I don't, I don't know how that happened. Uh, features a free swing bell, um, operating LED light, um, whistling tender that also has a bell, and, um, <clears throat> and features a 779 road number and a nickel plate road number. Now, this engine, uh, also, when I'm running it, if you hear the, uh, whistle blow really quickly, it's probably because I didn't push it. This engine has a few problems with it that happen occasionally. Occasionally when I'm running it, the light will burn out, and then a few days later when I go to run it, the light will come back on, and, uh, the whistle will randomly blow, even though I don't push it. Which that's a problem I have with a couple of my other engines. And uh, one time, the tender coupler was having a problem. When I was running this thing at the Lincoln Park Train Club. It just kept decoupling, which was kind of uh, strange, seeing as how it never did that before. That was the first time it was doing that. Um. So, anyways. I am going to run this engine for you guys, and I'm going to hope to crap that, um, it doesn't mess up, so, anyways. So, um, uh, here's the whistle.
Um, usually if you wait long enough, there'll be some crew chatter, but I am not going to do that. It's too long. Anyways, um, I'll take her on the over for you. the engine has a problem with the tender coupler. I'm not sure what's wrong with it or something, I don't know. This engine's kind of pissing me off. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just the stress of the train or if it's just the coupler giving out. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. But I'm up. This has been the O-Gage Collection episode, um, episode 6 or 5, I don't know, but, um, Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned.